Check. Oh, little guy. Hello, this is Jesse. <laughs> the long awaited Fargo flip. And look, I've even brought a special guest to the vlog. <laughs> Come on, little guy. The cool thing about the F 150s, throw your keys in, don't tell anybody. Lock it, done, right? Okay, this project, as you saw, you can go back to the couple vlogs before. Complete gut, mechanical, electrical, all new plumbing. We moved the kitchen from one side of the house to the other, pretty much. The code, I'll put the code in the description so you guys can. I'm just kidding. Right. Your friends are calling you, baby, stay with me instead. I know you're saying that you're tired, there's a door that's in your left. Even if I go, I still think of you in. Kitchen, super fun, easy layout. I stood right here, took a photo this way, drew on it, told him I want the L shape kitchen, I want the fridge over here, double oven over here, of course the sink, the dishwasher in the island. So we stubbed in the plumbing from the kitchen that was over there and stubbed it up and it was just as simple as pie. I think I spent like three grand or something like that on all the, the cabinets. And for example, like cabinet pools, they want like six bucks for them at Home Depot. I went to Amazon, bought a pack of like 30 or pack of 25. They're like 70 cents each or something like that. Literally the same exact thing. So flipper tips. We use the same countertops that we used on our last flip, the Berrywood flip. We bought this fridge on Craigslist. We threw it in, it was great. Unfortunately, the things that you deal with as like contractor, flipper in this case, but the, the countertop was five eighths of an inch too long. So the fridge unfortunately couldn't go in last Friday. It had to go in yesterday, which was Monday. And so we just, you know, the biggest thing I would say is dealing with issues. And if you know how to deal with problems and solve them, you'll be a successful entrepreneur, business owner, and a flipper. So it's looking pretty good. We leveled all of these floors, literally rented a floor grinder from Home Depot. This is a huge amount of leveling. I mean, this place was wonky. This was a garage that someone just came and dumped a bunch of like concrete into, turned into this room. So we had to pretty much take all that down to a level surface. And you can see a beautiful carpet now. All right, the Fargo flips, moving along. We got it all demoed out. We demoed all the tile. Looking good. We just laid out, uh, this wall is going to go move over. There's our panel. It's our new kitchen, gonna go over here. Island, a couple pendants, GFI outlet, sink, dishwasher, fridge. Got Cameron crushing on electrical. Got a bathroom coming in. A couple bedrooms back here. We're uh, we're pumping. We're a day and a half into this remodel. Got the ceilings all demoed out. Got to do some duct work. We're gonna move this wall out for a bigger dining room. Here's the master. Got the uh, bathroom all demoed out. New tub and tile. Let's move it along. A day in the life. And the inspection process was. A little bit slow because of the coronavirus, you know? But we made it through. This is the master bathroom. We edited this doorway, you know, a little bit and reconfigured, I guess that's more the, the term. And then put in a beautiful vanity, as you can see we used our cabinet company to go and put the white shaker vanity with the same granite countertops and the undermount sink, et cetera, et cetera. And then beautiful, just basic white subway tile with a nice new tub, everything's new. When you're flipping a home, you really want to make everything new. Even if it's not a Toto toilet, you have a beautiful new toilet. That's all that matters. So when I first walked in this house, this was the kitchen. Behind me was a wall and a door and that was the laundry room. So what we did, we're like, what do we do? So I'm like, let's move the kitchen over there. We blocked up this, we put in an, an opening, <laughs> we put in a window and then we made this back door, which was onto the patio, a laundry room addition. 
Let's go check it out. So what we did here was water heater, and then we're gonna have the washer and the dryer. We have the dryer vent going out, we have our hot and cold, and of course our 220 line for the dryer, and a plug for the washer, and this is our disconnect with our whip, and our hot and cold for the, uh, the water heater. And this is a huge, like about 100 square foot echoey addition that we pulled a permit for, all new roofing, it's been like 12 grand, 11 grand on this whole roof, which includes the outbuilding, which we'll is go check out now. It's a little bit rainy, but I'll show you anyway. Coming in from like a cool angle or what? <laughs> all right, so ultimately, like disgusting out here right now, it's like wet, muggy, soggy, all the things. But this soffit, brand new, I've paid 1800 bucks or something like that for all this new white vinyl soffit that included the installation. We pretty much built this whole roof and that is the addition that you see. So all new architectural black shingle roof as well as the little building back here, but it's just a little garage. They can kind of do what they want with it, but all new white vinyl windows. And honestly, I'm in love with this, this color scheme. I mean, the gray block, just simple, basic, and we painted the sills white to match the white windows and then the architectural roof, which is black. Charcoal. So like I said, this one took longer, cost a little bit more money than I thought. And I really realized to myself internally that if I want to be a home flipper, if I want to do this, I need to be here managing it. I need to put the systems in place. I have the systems in place for my commercial general contracting business. And I have all of my attention is over there doing that. It's the top priority, but these flips are, you know, a lot of details go into it. And I kind of would love for it to be its own thing. And it will be one day. And what I'm doing here with these first couple ones is setting the system in place, setting the procedure, setting the materials, the finishes, the floor plans that we buy, the vendors that we work with. And so that's the biggest thing I learned was I need to be a little bit more involved with every single detail to start with getting the team set up with the information that they need to be successful. So again, thanks for following the journey of Jesse Lane, just a human doing his best and getting up every single day to take action. And you know, Jake, come here, <laughs> come here. And of course, my trusty sidekick, Jake, now you can't actually come up on this couch, but you can come up on dad's lap. <laughs> and again, if you guys want to download templates for your business and schedule a consulting call with me, I'm more than happy to help you. That's what I'm here for, is to help you be successful. JesseLaneConsulting.com. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> Peace.